Hey, ya uh, friends. How's everyone doing today? You guys doing wonderful? I hope you freaking are. So yeah, um, he still won't stop about it. Look, man, we get it. You, ch you changed. You're better. You you're cured. We <laughs> you're better than us. Don't worry about it. Honestly, dude, I really don't care. I, you know, like I said, I, I talked about this before where I literally said, you know, start fresh, you know, either delete your videos, unlist them and start brand spanking new. So yeah, I'm just here to react to this. See what good old Mr. Idubs has to say while my phone just notified me for Pokemon Go. I hope you guys are ready. Make sure you keep your masks on for this one. Also, shout out to McClary's Old Fashioned Ass Burgers. Shout out to my buddy Matt McClary. I I'm not sponsored by ass burgers or anything. I just love to eat ass. For a while, I felt like if I changed my content over time, that people would see that as a reflection of who I am and what I value. You know, if I'm gonna have the balls to go to Tana's uh, fan meetup and say slurs at her and then make a video about how it's okay to say slurs. You're like 27 when you did that, bro. It's not like you're like a teenager that just showed up to a kid's event and started shouting out the N-word and obscenities, dude. Say neighbor. I think I should have the balls to make an apology video and take accountability for the mistakes I've made. So that's what this video is. <laughs> then why didn't you do it like years ago? I realize that I need to be crystal clear about what I believe so there's no room for ambiguity. I am responsible for creating a lot of hurtful and damaging content on this channel. Hurtful? I mean, dude, you you kind of ruined like two to three three people's channels. I mean, I mean, I think you did more than just hurt. You kind of ruined people's, you know, careers and money opportunities and income that people were, you know, rightfully, you know, deserving, dude. I mean, yeah, even though some of the people did suck. But you know, some of the videos I've made have been very not edgy. I don't think they, they. Oh, they were edgy. They were edgy. They were. The content I'm talking about specifically are content cop videos and videos where I was uh, just generally criticizing people for very lackluster reasons and uh you know obviously didn't have any accountability online whatsoever on my end i was more i'm gonna admit the content cop videos were brilliant i think they were very well done i think they were very uh i guess you could say you know some for some people that weren't aware of some of the certain people that he were was attacking on his content cop videos pretty informative i mean like i mean like i said I was never the biggest fan of iDubs before. Obviously not really much. Actually not any at all. But still, you know, I gave him credit. You know, Content Cops took a lot of effort. I mean, I suck at making videos. And and this, this guy shits on me when it comes to making videos. So, I mean, personally, if I were him, I'd say, fuck you. Don't worry about it. Video is on, and I'm not. I'm a human, I'm a real human who makes mistakes and, you know, I make a different set of mistakes than the people I was making videos on, but it doesn't matter. I don't think anyone deserves that level of cruelty or hate. It's also... You went to like a 17-year-old girl's freaking event and said the N-word. I mean, that's... Uh, I mean, yeah, she, I mean, first off, she shouldn't have said it in the, in the first place, you know, come on, but still... You're, you're still like a grown-ass man when you did that, bro. So, I mean... And shitty. I am very insecure about my ability to create interesting content or, like, entertain. Uh, it's gotten better over the years. I will admit, his uh, Full Force video where he did with the Airsoft Fatty, the um, documentary style that he's been doing... 
I'll applaud those. You know, those are pretty well done as well. Um, so, I mean, dude, you know, if if you're going to resort to doing videos like that, dude, then do it, you know. I'm just saying, like, as a comic, you know, I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't say don't feel bad for, for, for what you said. I mean, sure, take accountability, but, like, don't go off and just say I'm better than others because I'm, I apologize for it. Go fuck yourself. Kept making this hurtful content. You know, I, I ended up pivoting it into other things because... But why did it take you just a couple, like, just like a year or so ago to realize, oh, I think I'm making hurtful content. I think I should stop. What, like, when, like, what, like, why now? Why didn't you start doing it, you know, like, like six years ago when, you know, when you're making, yeah, like I said, going to videos, going, making videos, going to harass an 18 year old kid or what, adult, whatever the fuck. I don't know. I mean, it's just it's just funny that that it took them this long to figure it out. I mean, they say the the brain fully develops at twenty five, but you're way past twenty five when you're making those videos, dude. When you see that I had good intentions, you know, but that's so silly. You know, casual racism is still racism. Casual bigotry is still bigotry. He's not wrong there, but I mean, like I said. You were still a grown man saying these obscenities on camera. Oh, it's a single piece of paper that says neighbor food. I mean, come on. Like, why did it take you just a year or two ago to figure out, oh, that's wrong? Come on, man. And, you know, who the fuck knows what my intentions are? Like, I. Sarcasm and, like, uh, jokiness and jokey tone only go so far, especially over the internet. Even in real life, that's, like, an impossible thing to know with 100% certainty. But did you tell people to like, I, you know, see, I watched his, some of his videos, but I didn't watch all of his videos. I mean, did he tell people to go kill themselves? I mean, if so, then hold yourself accountable for that, right? For that, you know. I mean, like, yeah, obviously, with what he was saying, with the with the obscenities about you know racism and homophobia. But I mean, if you're telling people to go kill themselves, I mean, that's all. That's a whole new ballpark right there you know that that's a life i mean it's all lives that, that you're still taking advantage of right there especially with with your cringy edgy content i don't know because someone told me if he, if he told people to kill himself i mean he probably did i don't know philosophy that i'm not responsible for you know my audience and uh how they behave beyond what content i put out and uh that's stupid and it's it's led to a lot of hate and a lot of bad outcomes and uh i just want to make it clear that i am absolutely responsible for my audience and uh you know i guess if you want to you know but no you're not you shouldn't be responsible for your audience because you're not telling your audience to go you know up to people say some fucked up things you're not telling your audience to go kill people that's absolutely you, it's not like you're telling your audience to do that you know you shouldn't be responsible for your audience you know you, it, your audience they're, they're they're people too they got brains they got consciences you know they're the ones that should be responsible for their actions especially you know with you know obviously if they wanted to you know mimic you in public that's on them you know i know that this apology isn't enough i i've clearly done a lot of damage you know, these videos have been up for a long time and, and have accumulated millions of views. I shouldn't be able to just make an apology video and walk away from it. This is something, and I've made a successful career out of it, and that's not right. I, I think that this is only a step in the right direction, and I know that a lot- Look, you know, like I said, it's cool that he's figured out, you know, hey, man, I said some fucked up things in my day. And you know, and it's cool that you want to, you know, obviously change. Absolutely. But I don't know, just own up to it. I mean, clearly you're doing you're doing rightfully so. But don't, you know, look at yourself as all oh, I'm high and mighty for apologizing for my actions. You know, I think, yeah, obviously, I think you're doing, you know, the right thing. You know, but obviously still have that, you know, I guess you can say you have 7 million people counting on you, brother. And I still think you should still have that comedic mindset to, you know, I mean, clearly, you know, obviously you're a humorous guy. But what I'm saying is, man, you know, don't, I don't know, just, 
I'm stuck on that one. On this channel. And again, this isn't the end of what I'm doing. This is just the start. I don't feel like a lot of this content represents me as a person, uh, at least not anymore. There was a time where it probably perfectly represented me because I was a nasty, apathetic, insecure person. Now, now that I don't feel like it represents me and I want to distance myself from it and keep it from, you know, indoctrinating more people, I'd like to unlist the videos. <laughs> oh my god, I kind of, uh, I kind of knew it was going to happen. I knew, I knew this was going to happen. I knew he was going to say I'm having a, ref a fresh start and then unlist the videos. Call me a fucking prophet, I guess. I don't know. And for anyone who liked those videos, I, I you know, I want this video to be uh, an example and a lesson for you. You know, you can like content, but you can also think that it, it's irresponsible and it's hurting other people. So, but like I said, why are you thinking about it now? Tap into that part of your brain that's saying like, oh, okay, it's like it's probably not that important that this video stays online because. Truthfully, uh, I've seen it, I've experienced the content, but it's done a lot of damage. We, we can just let it, we can let it go. I'm sorry to everyone that I made content cop videos on. I, I still don't- No, you're not. <laughs> if you and Leafy, or you and Rice Gum, or, or even whatever the fuck, were in the same room together, you would say, go fuck yourselves, guys. Like the majority of you, and that's fine, but I can recognize that you did not deserve the hate and harassment that I sent your way. I particularly want to apologize to Tana. Tana, I'm sorry. I should have never made that video. I harassed- Tana doesn't give a fuck about you either, dude. I want to talk about events and situations that have happened over the past five years of my life that have led me to the place I'm at now. One year I was at a convention and a bunch of fans were, you know, wanting pictures and this particular fan came up to me and said, I know you probably don't like transgender people, but can I, you know, get a picture? That smacked me in the face. I was like, oh, holy shit. Why would you think that? But I... Uh, you know, no comment on that one. I mean, I don't even know if he made videos of him saying he doesn't like transgender people. I mean, not to my knowledge. I mean, he did say that one word. But then again, I mean, it doesn't... I don't know. I mean, yeah, okay, look. I get it there. I mean, you know, there are trans people out there, you know, some good-hearted ones, some crazy ones as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, do, I do see his point there too, you know, because if I made a joke about, about trans people, which I have before, you know, I, you know, someone said, oh, you, you don't like trans people. I'm like, no, I got a lot of, I, got no, I know several trans people, you know, but I mean, I'm just saying like, yeah, I can see his point of view right there. Especially, you know, with the content he made, I get it. I mean, it was fairly obvious. I was being cruel, hateful, bigoted, and uh, being very uncaring about people's feelings. That is a very fair... I'm just going to take a shot every time he says cruel, hateful, and bigoted <laughs> and irresponsible from now on. Man, god damn. Even though it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning here. Assess That's basically the entire video, guys. I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm starting to get a headache <laughs> just by listening to this guy. But anyway, yeah. Okay, look, you know, okay, we get it, man. You're, you're better than everybody. You're better than everyone else. Good for you. You know, do what you got to do, man. You know, it's your loss, not my loss. I'm doing my thing. But you know, hey, I mean, it's cool that you're taking accountability for what you said, what you've done, whatever you know. So do your thing, bro. Keep box, keep losing in boxing. <laughs> I don't know, keep keep making weird videos with your wife. I can do what you gotta do, bro. And my cheeks are really fucking red. Have a good night, guys.